Hi everyone, good evening. Good evening, how are you all? Oh, I'm so excited to be doing this, I really am. Let me just make sure I've got everything set up okay. Do let me know if you can hear me okay. Just want to make sure that I've got everything set up all right. Right, okay. Okie doke. Yay! Hi, Princess of Pineapples. Thanks for coming back. It's good to see you. I hope you had a good day. I'm really excited for this. I'm super excited. Hi, Crispy. So have you played Planet Zoo before, before we jump on in? Because if not, I'm happy to kind of explain it a little bit before we dive on in. I absolutely love this game. I haven't played it in so long, but I do have all the DLC and I've kind of re-familiarized myself with it a little bit. So I'm hoping we'll have a lot of fun with this. We are going to be playing in franchise mode. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> my plan for this is it's kind of going to be a trial because it's something I've wanted to add to the channel since I come back. And I'm kind of hoping everyone enjoys it as much as I do. So if you do enjoy this and you want to see it continue as a series, then leave a like and a comment on the stream so that I do know that you want to see more of it. And what I plan to do is we'll continue with the franchise, but I'll also be doing things like speed builds and tutorials and stuff like that to kind of help you out if you have any trouble with it as well, because this is such a fun game, but it can be very, very overwhelming to kind of get used to in the beginning. All right, so what we're going to do, <clears throat> let's dive on in. Just let me know, is the game sound OK? It's not too loud or anything, the music, just in case I need to tweak anything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start our very first franchise. I've literally wiped everything, so we're not going to have any unfair advantages. I've got rid of my old franchise that I had so that I'm not going to carry over any conservation credits or anything like that. We're going to start exactly as you would as a new player. I think it will be a lot more fun that way for sure. So I'm just going to put lunatics in here for now, but you guys can help me come up with a good name for the franchise. But just while we're getting things set up, there's our first 100 conservation credits. So we're going to need to start a new zoo. What are we going to call it? I'm not really sure at the moment. So let me just pop that there. I'm going to rely on you guys for some ideas on what we should call our first zoo. Or I might leave it unnamed for now and we'll do a vote later on. But let's just change up this banner a little bit. Oh, I like this one and I also like this one let's go for the elephant that's something different um where are we yeah let's go for the elephant and then for the banner what do we want for the banner hmm kind of like this one with the red to be honest all right so we do need to name our zoo. I'm not really sure what we should call it, to be honest, at the moment. So do you guys have any ideas what you'd like to call the zoo? Do let me know. Pop your ideas in the chat. And we will take your ideas for sure. <laughs> All right, make sure I've got everything going on here. All right, everything's looking good. All right, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we can come back and name it in a bit. So what I'm going to do for now, um, we're just going to put our zoo for now. And we'll, we'll decide on a name. We can rename it at any time. But let's jump on straight into the screen. And I will wait for you guys to give me some feedback on what you think we might want to name this. But that is going to be our franchise for now. So let me just save that. Now, our zoo. Oh, hang on, wrong one. I need that to be lunatics for now. All right. So, brand new zoo. I'm thinking I need to rep the UK a little bit and maybe start our very first one in the UK. 
Yeah, so we'll be in the temperate biome, which is nice, kind of a good temperament to be. So let's start there. We'll keep it on medium. I don't really want to go all the way up to hard or keep it on easy. So I think we'll start, let's start with medium. It's a good kind of in-between. Me too, Crispy. I haven't really thought this through. This is a very spontaneous thing where I was like, I really want to do it. Let's just go for it and do it tonight and see if we have some fun with it. So, hmm. Let's think. You know what? I think I'm going to go with what I was originally... This is going to sound funny, but I was originally going to call my island in Animal Crossing Pandora. So I might call the zoo Pandora for now. And then if you guys help me think of anything better, oh, by all means, let me know. And I will definitely take some notes. Man, I can't see what I'm doing here. One second. There we go. So we've got flat terrain. I'm not going to go sculpting. We want to do all that ourselves. We've got medium difficulty. We're going to be in Europe, right in the UK. And let's create our zoo. I'm so excited to dive on in. Oh, we've got to choose our first animal. We've got to design our first habitat. We're going to have so much to do. We're going to have so much to do. <clears throat> Just let me know that the music isn't too loud or anything because I've got it turned down for me, but I don't know if it's okay for you guys. I'm hoping it is. I'm going to pause it as soon as we start so I can just kind of catch up with everything. So here we are. We've got all of this space. <laughs> We've got a lot of space to get started with, but let's just jump straight on in at the moment. So, right. Now, this is the most overwhelming part, starting with a huge blank area. So what I'm going to do is we do have a little bit of power to get started with. So we're going to try and keep to that as much as possible because... As you can see, we only start with $40,000 and 200 conservation credits, which is not going to get us very much. So, yeah, that's going to be the struggle. So it's going to be very basic in the beginning. We need to earn some money and then hopefully we can start designing a really amazing zoo. So the first thing we want to do is really is start getting our path down and plan out where things are going to be. What I might need to do, actually, let me just check. So we got quite good power here but i'm gonna make a mark on the terrain just so i kind of can see actually before i do that let me just flatten it because it will make it a lot easier for me then let's turn this up if i just flatten this whole area that way i don't get any issues okay and then what i want to do is i kind of just want to mark the outside radius of where our power ends yeah that should help um so let's do it from about here you won't see this while i'm in heat map mode but when i turn it off in a moment you will but this is just so we know where our power boundary is at the moment and we don't accidentally go over it because having a generator earlier on is going to be quite expensive so that should be better all right so we kind of get an idea of what we got to work with here so it's not too bad at all let's grab our path so we're going to want a path hi sarita hi thanks for joining us it's so good to see you again or yeah read you again <laughs> so we're just literally getting started we haven't really done anything yet but we are just jumping in i'm just putting the first path down are you familiar with planet zoo sarita have you played it before yourself let me pop flattened terrain on here just to make it a little bit easier for us right so this is the area we got to work with let me just we need to make this a bit wider i think about seven should be right yeah so we can go out as far as this now we do want to leave enough room to do a really cool entrance later on so i don't want to start too close um oh bless you so you almost didn't make it but you stopped working out you stopped oh my god i feel so bad <laughs> you stopped working out to come and hang out oh that's so that's so lovely thank you so you haven't heard of it all right well let me give you a quick idea of what it's about so basically you we're starting a franchise zoo we've got all of this land here and the boundary goes right out to the edge pretty much this little semicircle I've made is just a temporary marker because you get some starting power to help you power your zoo. Everything requires power, so 
you know, education, habitats, everything. So you need it, the buildings, everything. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me there. I've still got a bit of a voice issue today. But basically the aim of the game is to design and create your zoo, educate your guests, you know, make them happy. And obviously the biggest thing is building habitats for animals, helping, you know, helping with conservation um, efforts by releasing them into the wild when you've had babies and things grow up in the zoo. And the animations in this game and the, and the animals are just incredible. So I'm really excited to show you all of that. But the biggest thing with this game as well is you have so much freedom with designing and building. You've got this entire construction tab. If I just turn blueprints off a moment where you can literally build everything from walls to little tiny roofing decor you've got signs you, you... the possibilities are truly endless and that's what makes this game amazing so it can be very overwhelming in the beginning but yeah it is a lot of fun and it's highly addictive <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get our first sort of I'm going to get a path down because we're going to need to get our staff buildings and then decide what animal we're going to start with so we know what kind of habitat to build. So let's just stick with this path for now. Now we do want to leave enough space to hopefully do a nice entrance later, but we've got to be very careful with the money in the beginning. So let's start with just bringing this out a little bit further, I think. Um, yeah, maybe just... I'm just, oh, I don't know. I think this might actually be enough, to be honest. Or should we go one more? Let's go one more. <clears throat> what I'm thinking is we kind of go out a little bit and we'll have maybe a central plaza in the middle where we can put our basic facilities that we're going to need for the guests, like food and drink, toilets, stuff like that. Our staff buildings for now could go right down here, but later on we'll move them up, I think. So let's kind of just get a little bit of a layout going. Um... Let's see, I don't know how far we're going to want to go over. Because we need to make sure... I might need to go back a little bit. I think I'm going to use up too much space here, to be honest. Let's go to about here. Will that be enough? Um, yeah. I mean, eventually we might, we might want some kind of transport, like um, the train or the monorail here. So I think we'll just do it about here. We can always change this later. But let's go over a bit. So how much we got so far? One, two, three, four... Maybe about there. I like to kind of do this at the corners. So I'm going to do this. And then we'll go up. But before we go over there, let me just get it on this side as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, roughly. Okay, that should be about right. All right, so let me leave that there a minute. Okay. So I'm just kind of getting a rough idea down of what what we're going to start with. Um, hmm. It'll be nice to have like a, a gallery here. One, two, three. Possibly. Hang on a second. Let me just... If we had like... The stairs would be here. We could have one, two, three for a gallery. Like here. I'm just trying to plan it out in my head a little bit of how it might work. Um, right, and then we would want to go over... Let's see. Yeah, I think we'd want to go over. So let me continue that a minute. Let's go put a little marker here so we know what we're doing. I'm going to come back and sort that out in a minute, but it's just so I make it... Yeah, so that should be right. That should keep us right within the power grid for now. Beautiful. And I'm just going to kind of bring this down and connect it because we will end up having maybe one habitat either side to start with. Okay, and let me just... Oh, okay, hang on. Let me just corner this off. There's a reason I like to do this because it will look nice when we put stairs in later, I think. Okay, so coming back over here. I think this is where we're going to have our first habitat. But my idea, if I get rid of this bit, is I want to have like a nice sort of viewing gallery. So I'm thinking if I mark it out like here, that way we can have stairs either side going up. So you get like a higher level viewing, but you also get a lower level viewing here. But before we do anything like that, we need to get some facilities down so that we can actually go and get our first animals and decide what we're going to go with. 
we're not going to have much to work with, first of all, so I'm really excited to see what we might want to go with. But let's get the basic facilities we're going to need for now. So I think we need to start with star facilities, don't we, really? Let's make some space over here. Let me just move this. We'll move these out the way for a moment. Don't want to sell them because we'll lose some money. And we'll move this one a little bit closer. All right, let's just push that over there. Yeah, that will do. This should give us enough room to work with. We can just tuck our staff facilities away over here for now. Okay, so we want a staff path. And we want to make this a little bit smaller. We don't need it as wide. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's keep it quite tight in here for a minute. Let's put it maybe... Actually, we're probably not going to need it. Yeah, we will. We'll keep it like this for now. Let's just bring it all the way out a moment. And we'll figure out how much we actually need. Now, the star facilities we're going to need to start with. So we're going to need... Let's turn all the blueprints off. We're not going to want blueprints for now. So these are your star facilities. The Animal Trade Center allows you to buy the animals, um, even with conservation credits that you get throughout the game from releasing animals into the wild, completing challenges, things like that. Or with cash as well. Obviously, the more conservation credits you have, the better, because that's how you can get the rarer animals um, or the ones that are most highest appeal. But in the beginning, you don't need to worry too much about that. But we're going to need an animal trade center to start with. So let's just align this to the grid. All right, so animal trade center. <clears throat> we're going to want to quarantine. Um, we probably could get away with not having it right on the beginning, but, you know, I don't really want to risk it. So I'm going to grab it straight away. We're also going to need... Actually, let me remove that. I'll move that further along because I'd rather get the mechanic next to there. So yeah, let's put the mechanic down. And then we want a research center. We're going to need a staff room. Um, let's put the staff room right on the end so it's quick and easy to get to. And then we want our quarantine and our vet surgery. So already we're losing quite a bit of money, but we need all this stuff. And later on, when we do some research, we'll be able to unlock, you know, bigger buildings, better buildings. We can unlock blueprints to make them look nice and pretty. We can design our own. They do come with some really cool designs like this. But we haven't unlocked anything yet. As I said, I'm starting completely as you would as a new player. So we don't have any research unlocked at all. So going to be limited in the beginning. I need to move this tree over a little bit. Uh, where do we want to put it? Let's just... It's a bit big, this one. Let's put it at the end here. We've got a smaller one that I can pinch. Yeah, let's grab... Well, actually, it's not as small as what I thought it was going to be, but just to kind of obscure the buildings a little bit. That'll... That is really big, that tree. I might push it back a little bit. Maybe about here. Yeah, that should be all right. Oh, we can tuck it in there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That is a very weird... All right, that can do for now. That can do. All right, so now that we've got our buildings down, we'll worry about guest facilities in a minute because we are going to need those as well. But we're going to need to get our... See what we're going to be looking at for our first animal. So now we've got the animal trading down, we can have a look at the animal market. Oh, red pandas. Red pandas. I do love red pandas. And they would be really good to start with because they're very high appeal as well, actually. Um... Wow, okay, so red panda would be a good one, but conservate. Actually, we could probably could afford them, actually. And they are really... Yeah, there is a gameplay mode, Sarita. We're paused at the moment because we need to get things set up. If we unpause the game, then guests will start coming into our zoo and we don't have anything ready for them, so we'll begin losing money. So in order to not lose any money, we need to keep it paused for a second while we get everything set up. So we need to get habitat built real quick. And then we need to get everything unpaused so that the guests can start coming in we can start making money and you know doing things and checking on the guests things like that so there is it is a very build heavy game i will say but it doesn't have to be it all depends on your preference so looking at the animals if i let me reset all the filters so we've got quite a lot here but we want something that's got high appeal because the appeal is what brings the guests to your zoo 
So the more appealing the animal, the more guests are going to want to come and see it. And I do have all the DLC. So if I just open up um, the Zoopedia, this is where we can get information, all the animals and what they need in the game. I do have all of them. So <laughs> at the moment, everything that's been released, I have in the game. But things that are, you know, things like tigers, lions, you can't start with them <laughs> because they cost too much money. <clears throat> So we're going to need something that doesn't cost us too much, but still quite high appeal. And I'm actually thinking we do go back to the red panda because I think that would be a really good one to have to start with. Um, yeah. What's the price like, though? So there are there are a few that are quite cheap. Um, the only other one that might be good would be something like the timber wolf or the grizzly bear. Let's have a look. Timberwolf, maybe. See, they're quite cheap as well. Um, and these are pretty young. What's the age that they... I need to check their um, age real quick and how many you can have. So in here, it tells you everything you need to know about the habitat. So the size they require, if they require water, temperature, what biomes you can decorate from, things like this. But it also tells you things like how many can live together when they're able to reproduce things like that and if they're you know what their conservation status is so let's see you can have quite a huge group here two to twelve um let me go and grab the red panda a second i think the pandas only yeah two but they can reproduce from uh, you can have one to three the thing is with these as well you you can get more conservation credits from them because they are endangered so if you get animals that are endangered and you release them into the wild, you can earn more conservation credits that way. So I think we go for the red panda. If we can still find some that are available, quite good. Let's start with a red panda and it'll be high appeal as well. Okay, so. Five and a half. Gia here. She's only one and a half years old, which is great. And she's only 100 conservation credits. Size, longevity, fertility. Stats are not great, but they're actually... Mm, this one's better. But that one's older. Five and a half. I can't remember how old they can stop. Let me just see. Oh, 15. So that's actually quite good. So we're fine there. So what we might do... Hmm. It's got better stats, hasn't it? Than the one down here. Well, I don't know. I kind of like Gia. Because she's younger, we could have her for longer. Yeah, let's grab Gia. So we'll adopt her. And then we need a male. Um, Not from the same zoo. <laughs> so let me just filter this by boys so that we can kind of get an idea. Um, Not age. Let's do it by boys. All right, these are all a lot more expensive. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a female. No, we don't have enough just yet. All right. We don't have enough just yet for a male. I don't think. Is there any available maybe for cash? Let's see. Let's see if there's any available for cash. None at the minute. All right. What we might have to do then. Hmm. We'll have to refresh it in a moment. What I'll do is I'll get some guest facilities down, but if not, we might have to start with a different animal until a male becomes available that we can actually afford because at the moment we're about 11 credits from being able to afford it. But that's all right. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's get some guest facilities down so that we're ready for our guests. So we're going to need the basics to start with. Something to eat and drink. Um, so we've got chief beef at the moment. Gulpy soda. Loony balloons. Right, let's start with the information centre. I'm not going to worry about decorating them right now. They're not going to look great, but unfortunately, you know, that's just how we need to start. It's going to be very basic in the beginning. Right, let's get... Does the grid line up well with this? Let me see. Yeah. It's a bit of a long... Mind you, having a bit of a queue might be ideal. No, let's get that out. Let's get out of the group. Let me see if I can line this up a bit. Maybe about here. 
yeah, that looks about right for me. So let's get that one. So we've got an information center. They can buy adoption packs and things like that from here. We're going to want some food and drinks. I'm not really going to worry too much about balloons right away, I don't think. So let's just start with something to eat and drink. So let's get a chief beef. And we want to pop that. Let me just line it up a little bit here so I can get an idea. Make sure. Uh, let's see, about here should be fine. Yeah, that will do. So we've got something to eat, something to drink. They're going to want some toilets, aren't they? Um, yeah, we're going to have to at least get one toilet block, I think, for now. Maybe we can tuck it over here out the way. Again, this is going to look very ugly in the beginning, guys. Bear with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just the way it is when you get started. But yeah, let's pop that down so we've got something there for them to use. We're going to want an ATM as well. Um... We've got one right here so that our guests can get money out. So let's grab one of those for now. And then I think that's pretty much all we need to start with other than our habitat. So yeah, I don't think we really need much else right now. We have to get some education stuff in a moment, but let's kind of get an idea of our first habitat. So if we're going to go red panda, I'm hoping we can get one available in a minute. Let me just get... I want to have some stairs going up and my idea is that we'll have like an, a gallery above here like this Hang on, let me come around this way and bring that back down okay so my idea is that you'd have like a little viewing gallery here which i'm gonna put some one-way glass i don't know why that did that so let me just lock that back on and then eventually when we can do the educational speakers we can have maybe some seating along here and eventually i'm going to make this area one big nice plaza which will be lovely and decorated but obviously we can't do that just yet so before i do that let me check if we can get our male red panda if we've got any more just yet uh no right so we're gonna have to go to we're gonna have to go to a backup plan here i think maybe we start with timber wolves because I think they were quite cheap and still high appeal. Let's have a look. All right. <clears throat> that is a lot of money. <laughs> right, let's look at cash only. Um, cash listings. We'll ignore conservation credits for now. So we don't have too many, but we can have a lot more of them together. So we've got... Oh my God, Jacob. You know what? I'm getting Jacob because the twilight. <laughs> we can't not get a timber wolf called Jacob. All right, so we've got a male and this female nikedra oh nikedra if you ever saw party elites um let's play his first i believe his first baby timber wolf was called nikedra as well so that's that's a nudge to my favorite let's play for planet zoo <laughs> right so we've got a male and a female perfect so we're gonna have to adapt this a little bit yeah, so basically, this as we're going to build a quick habitat in a moment to get started, but you will start with your animals. You'll make money from the guests coming into your zoo, buying things like food and drink, adoptions. They, they sell quite a lot of stuff here that they can buy, and you can adjust the prices as well. Obviously, they charge ticket prices, and every time you add new animals, you can up your ticket prices. All the information for your zoo is found here. It does seem very overwhelming, first of all, but I'll explain it as we go. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the chat and I'll, I'll explain it as best as I can for you. But it, once you kind of get into it, it, it does seem a lot easier than what it initially seems. And then as you have babies in the zoo, you can, when they reach a certain age, you can either keep them and continue to breed them for better stats that are worth more money, or you can release them into the wild and that will get you cash or conservation credits, which allows you to buy better and better animals, things like that. And there's also lots of fun challenges and stuff along the way. And you can unlock more things like guest tours around your zoo, educational speakers. Yeah, it's a, it can be a lot of fun. And we're going to open the zoo in a few minutes, but we're going to need to make a quick habitat. So this is why normally you see a lot of speed builds for this stuff, because this is the stuff that takes a little bit of time kind of getting set up. But once you've got it, once you've got all that done, we're good to go. Let me just see if I can get some one way glass. Otherwise, I might just use the standard in-game barriers for now. So when you're building habitats, you do have the option to use the standard in-game barriers like this. 
or you can create your own which is what I'm going to think of doing right now but I need to get we want a big um, big one because red pandas get shy um, so they'll get very stressed if they haven't got any privacy so one way glass is actually a really good way to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a makeshift screen about here so that way we can see through but they've got it kind of if i come back it's sort of blocked this side yeah so the guests will get a really good view in here we'll probably put some feeding and enrichment stuff here but you can also come up along here and get a really nice view of them when they're climbing maybe so let me get a few of these panes along let me just duplicate this so if we do Control x it will duplicate it right next to each other and then i'm going to lower this down in a minute so that we can maybe put some cool logs and things. Have I got random rotation on? I believe so. Have I got... Yes, I have. That's why it's flipping the glass round. Okay. All right, let me just try and join this as best as I can. All the way across. Okie doke. Right, and then we're probably going to need to, if we highlight all of these, is this one, that one's not joined up very well. Let me just bring that in a little bit. That's better, I think. All right. So what we need to do, if we select all of these. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to have like a log going across here to frame the window, but I just kind of want to get it at what looks like the right sort of level. I could probably bring it back so it's more in line with this concrete, I think. Maybe about here. That seems okay to me. Um, right, we're going to need to frame the stairs and stuff in a minute as well. So let me just move these along. All right, so we go about here. So what I need is some logs. There's so much you can do with this game and you get you, you can have your mechanics and things research different themes and building materials. But I think to start with, if I get. Have I got angle snap on? Let me pop that on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to frame our windows. All right, about there should be okay. This will just, this won't cost us too much money, hopefully. So, all right, let's bring it to about the edge here as well. And then if I get another one, that's going to be a bit too big, that one. That one would be better, wouldn't it? We bring this into the corner. Maybe about here. Yeah, that looks okay. I'll bring it down a little bit because I'm going to have more logs at the top in a moment. But let's just duplicate that across. That way we'll have a nice frame for our viewing gallery. Give you a really nice view of the pandas, I hope, when we get them in. And if we can't, then it will be the wolves for now. Although I'd kind of like an area up here for the wolves because we could have the wolves and the grizzly bears next to each other where you can go and get a better view of them. Now we should be able to just copy this right up and save us some time. Yeah, that looks okay. So that'll give us a nice kind of viewing gallery. Let me just see how it looks the other side. Yeah, that looks okay from that side. Okay. Right, so we just need to frame the stairs off, then we can fence it in with a normal barrier. So let me see if I can get... We're going to need a wall piece for this, aren't we? Yeah, so um, maybe just plaster for now because we can at least change the colour of that. So I need the angled pieces. Is that one going to be too steep? That would be all right for that bit, I think. That one's not going to be... All right, that one will fit better there. So let me just pop that there a minute. I'll line it up properly in a moment. And then we're probably going to need to use this one and then a smaller piece to fill it in. Uh, I don't want the grid. Come off the grid. Let me just see if this will kind of... No, I don't. I think that's going to be too steep, you know. 
I know what we'll do. Let's duplicate this one because this is at the right angle. Yeah, let's just keep that level. And then we just want a little square bit to go underneath. And it is exactly like Tycoon, Sarita. Um, it's a lot like that, I believe. I've not really played that too much myself, but very similar concept, I believe. If I just... Oh, that's too big. That might be too big. Have we not got a smaller bit that we can use? Um, don't think so. All right, I might have to use... What one's going to be? That's way too big. That's way too big. All right, maybe I can... All right, that might actually be okay, to be fair. We just bring that in so it's level. Is that going to poke out, though? That's what I need to know. No, that'll be fine. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll group this, hopefully. Now, are we able to... If I save that as a blueprint... Oh, I've already got one saved. Oh, brilliant. I didn't realise I did this. So I think I've already got this saved where I've done it before. So let me see if I turn the blueprints back on. Cancel that. And if I put stairs, yes, here we go. All right, I've coloured this one, but that's okay. But at least I can get, I think that looks about lined up. Yeah. That looks about right. And then that colour, let me just grab that colour real quick so that I can copy that. Because it actually is quite a nice colour. See, normally if I was recording this, this kind of stuff would be done as a speed build. <laughs> and then let's copy it here. And finally, let's copy it up there. I believe it was already set to that colour then, maybe. Was it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right. <clears throat> so let me just pop one more down here. Uh, that should be about right. I'll tidy that up in a moment, but let me get one more this side because I need to close it all off. Does that look about right? I believe. Yeah. Beautiful. So at least the animals can't get out and nor can the guests. <laughs> we don't want them doing it. Right. So now that we've got that bit sorted, I'll tidy this bit up a little bit in a moment. But let's just bring that down slightly. Same with this side, just so it looks nice. Now, I must have undone this because I swear I already did this bit. But let's bring it back up. And let me just bring that out a little bit just so it covers that edge. Looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a nice little framed window. Let's get some barriers in for now and then we can worry about prettying it up later. I think we just start with the wooden barrier for now. I think that's going to be the cheapest. I don't really want to do concrete all the way around, but I do need to close this gap in a moment. So if we start maybe about here. Right, I'll move that back in a minute, but we're going to want... Hmm, how big are we going to need it? Let's just do two for now. I think that'll be fine. It might actually even be too big, you know, but we'll start with this for now. Right, this is not straight whatsoever at the minute. Let's just move this over a bit. I am very particular with this stuff, but we want it to look nice. Even if we can't do too much in the beginning, we still want it to look nice. And I'm just going to kind of move this central bit a little bit over. 
That's about as close to being square as we're going to get it at the moment, but that should give us plenty of space. All right, we need a bit bigger here, I guess. So uh, let me add one in. Let's bring this down. We don't need it too big. Just want to tuck it in here. No, you don't want to let me do it? Okay. Tell you what then, let's do it this way. Let's bring that all the way back up so we've got as long as we can have it for now. There we go, that's better. I keep catching my wire. One second, there we go. All right, let's get rid of these two a moment. <clears throat> I need to stop this camera jumping around as well in a moment because that's going to get annoying. All right, at least that should be a little bit straighter. Let's bring you back in a bit and then let's bring you joined up. So all we need now, we'll decorate and everything once we've got the animals in, so we know what they need. But that just gives us a little bit of space at the moment. So we'll be able to see in here, get a really good view. And then if we go on up, we've also got a really good view into the habitat here as well. Hi, Crystal. Thanks for coming. Hope you've had a good day so far. We're just building our first habitat, which looks like it's going to be for timber wolves at the moment. And we're trying to not spend as much money as possible. We all know the struggle there. All right, let me come out of this a moment. <clears throat> now, I actually need to do something about this because it is going to bug me. I'm going to bring these in under the stairs a bit better. That looks better. Yeah. Let's bring that under there. That looks a lot better. Right. Um. Okay. I'm just going to have another quick check just to see... If we've got any more red pandas, just in case we can get the male red panda. It might not update until I press play, to be fair, but. All right, red panda. Still, yeah, 100. There, is a, there is new ones, but we're still 10 conservation credits short of being able to get the male. We've already got the girl waiting in animal storage here but we've got two timber wolves jacob and the kedra waiting so we can use those all right so we're going to just base it on the timber wolves for now so let's get the habitat stuff in so that we can get our animals in here and check out what they need so we need a habitat gate first of all let's grab that this is how our keepers get in and out um i'm thinking actually we tuck it can we tuck it under there no probably not all right, so we're going to have to go probably about here then. Let's get our staff path so that the, the staff can access it. Um, hmm. All right, is this terrain not flat? I don't think it is, you know. Let me turn that off. That's fine. All right, let's see if I can bring it out. How am I going to bring it out this way? No, it's not going to. The path in system in this game is very finicky, I will say. But we'll make it work. Um, Maybe it's worth us just going to a bigger path then. See if it will let us join it here. Yeah, that way we can at least bring it alongside the barrier. That's going to look weird. I don't like it. I think this is because this barrier isn't straight. Let's see if we can edit it a little bit. Uh, that looks okay there. Don't worry about the path. I'm going to fix that in just a moment. I just kind of want to get it so that it will hopefully line up to the path a little bit better than what it is at the minute. So let's get rid of that. Uh, let's go back to a smaller one. Maybe we could... 
Yeah, that might be okay, just to do it kind of like that. I don't like that weird angle, though. Yeah, I'm not sure about... Oh, hang on, is that a little bit... Maybe we just make this square then, so I'm not going to go crazy staring at that weird angle. Oh, I've messed it up now. This is what happens with a path in this game. It just causes you issues. All right. Plan B. Let me go back into the staff path. We've got the smaller path. Let me get that bigger path back out. All right, let's go alongside the barrier like this a moment. Let me get the smaller path. Actually, I'll tell you what we can do, which will probably save us a lot of trouble, is if I just delete this barrier gate and re-add it back in. Like so. There we go. At least it's straight now. That would have drove me crazy otherwise. That will do for now. So only the staff can go down there, not the guests, but we've at least got a start going. So now we need to get our animals in. So we can kind of see what they're going to need. Then we can get the guests in. So before I do that, let me just pop down donation bins and things that we're going to need. Um, I think under facilities. Let's see. What have I got favorited? Oh, I've got them here saved. All right. So these allow guests to make donations. It's another way for you to earn some money. So we'll pop one this end, maybe one at this end. You're going to need bins and things like that because guests are so messy. It's ridiculous. So we'll pop a couple of those out. Let's put one over here. And one at this side. We'll put a couple up here as well. I'm going to want some donation bins up here as well. I'm just putting everything down kind of roughly at the moment. I'm not too worried about it being super pretty until we actually get some money because we're already down to 18,000. So we're not doing too good with money at the moment. Now, education. Um, we need education boards. Hmm. Ah, actually, I know what to do. Turn that off. Let's go... Where's the education boards? Oh, I just saw it. The one that I've got saved with the speaker. Um, hang on. There it is. Yeah, I've got one here saved. It's already got the speaker built into the back of it. So this will be handy. Then we can display some information. Thinking we do it kind of to the corner, maybe like this. Yeah. I'm going to put one this side. And let me get another one. Let's turn that heat map off. Maybe one about here. That should be about right. That way we can set that up to educate our guests in a moment. But yeah, let's get our let's get our wolves in straight away. So where are we? Animal Trade Center. I need to set up. Let me just change something real quick in these settings because it's driving me crazy that the camera keeps jumping. Um, edge scrolling. I want to turn off. I think. I'll worry about that in a minute. Right, animal storage. So we want to get our timber wolves. Now, ideally, you want to send these to quarantine first to make sure that they don't have any diseases. But we're just going to take the risk at the moment and get them straight into the zoo. We're going to have to unpause the game first, I think. All right, let's see if it will let us do it now. Sometimes you have to pause the game and unpause it. Why is it an invalid destination? Oh, okay. We haven't got any staff. Oh, my God. All right. I thought you'd be able to do that before, but we're going to have to get our staff. Okay, so we go to our staff. So we're going to need a caretaker. And what I'm thinking actually might be fun is to kind of name our staff after you guys or the animals we, when we have babies and things be able to name them and if you guys have any cool names you know for the facilities definitely we'll do that as well just make it a lot more fun we're gonna need oh a keeper hut that's one thing i haven't put down actually so i'm gonna need a keeper hut in a moment um we want a mechanic and we've got vendors automatically we don't need an educator yet but we do need a vet 
Okay, and you can do custom uniforms and everything now as well, which is great. So let's bring those guys in. We're going to need to set up a work zone actually as well. This basically tells our staff where they need to go. Um, let's change this as well. I don't want this to go in too dark. Let's do it to about six. Right, staff, work zones. Remind me where the work zones are. Where's our work zone? Oh, here we are. <clears throat> Right, so let's make a new work zone and at the minute we'll just put everything in it and we'll just call this central work zone because this is our central area at the moment central zone okay and we need to assign all of our staff to that area central zone okay so everyone should be in there one staff room yeah okay perfect <laughs> yeah it is quite weird and but what i do love is that um you can actually cuss i mean they look very funny in this game as well but you can customize the uniforms to your liking and everything but let me keep it paused just for a second because we're not ready for our guests just yet we need to get our animals in here and we need to make sure the habitat actually looks nice for them and they've got everything they need or we won't we'll end up with protesters and things telling us we're not taking care of the animals Right, so let's send them in here. Why is it still not letting me put them in? Invalid destination. Why? It's got the habitat gate. Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, you donut. I know, it's because I haven't got the barrier connected. That's why. I wonder if you guys noticed that. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Right, let me sort that out real quick. I need to actually... Well, let me bring this down a moment. So yeah, at least at least it does tell you if your barriers are not correct, it will certainly tell you. Let me just move this down a bit because I need to tuck this in and then I'm going to use a null barrier to run across where we were. So let me come down a minute so I can kind of get a better feel for where I am. We need a null barrier. Where is it? This is basically an invisible barrier. So if you've used something like I have with the one way glass or the concrete, it basically tells tells the game that, you know, this is a barrier that you've created. So I want it to be null. And I'm going to need to come up like this. So I make sure it's actually in line. OK. And then let me straighten that up a bit now. It should be about here. I think should be about right. Make sure we've got it tucked in as close as possible. I believe that should be okay. Yeah, we don't want it telling us the animals have escaped, but I do need to just quickly cover this part up so that they don't go under there. Um, right, go back to wall pieces. Let's get our plaster and we'll just get two plain wall pieces and we're going to stick them under here. Let's control X to duplicate that in a second when I come out of there. So we can cover that bit up here. Lovely. And then we'll just copy this right across to this side. So just so they can't get under the stairs and they're blocked from view. Okay, so now oh, I'll tidy that bit up in a moment. But now we've got a complete habitat. Yes, it's ready. So we need to name this Timberwolves. And let's get our animals in <laughs> eventually. So let's select both of them, send them to the zoo. And then if we hit play, our staff will go and grab our animals and bring them to the new habitat. And we'll be able to go see them do that in just a moment. You can see them running in there now to go and get our animals. And they'll take the wolves to the habitat and then we can, our guests will start showing up then because we'll show that we've got an animal. But here they are. <laughs> 
Wait till you see how cute they are, guys, honestly. We'll just follow behind them, make sure they don't drop them. All right. Bring them in. Let's see them. Oh, well, they've kind of come in together, but look how cute they are. Ah, oh, is that, are they not really cute? Look at that, guys. There's our wolves, Jacob and Nikedra. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. So before we can do anything else, we now need to check what they need. So if we pause the game a second and you click on one of the animals, it will tell you. So they're obviously not very happy at the moment because they haven't got anything in their habitat. But it's telling us what we need to do. So the terrain is what the issue is at the moment. They want more long grass. So we can do that in a moment. They have got plenty of space, which is perfect. Temperature something we'll probably have to adjust, but they're going to need plants and things. And it's letting us know that we can decorate with plants and nature from tiger, tundra or temperate. OK, and it will tell you by these sliders if you've got enough of what they need. So let's start with the terrain and just go in and add some more long grass. So all we do is select that and we'll get rid of this awful sand mark now. We'll just kind of brush this in and you'll see this. Oh, they've got too much long grass. I apologize. So what do they want more of? They want more rock, more soil. Okay, so let's start with doing this. We'll have to build them a really nice waterfall and things later. But let's just try and get this terrain sorted. So they don't really want any grass by the looks of it. They're going to want more rock. We can make this into a really cool wolf den, actually. If we do this with rocks, we'll be able to make a really cool wolf den. All right, still not enough just yet. They've still got too much grass they're not happy with. So we need to make sure we've pretty much got rid of all of it by the looks of it. Yeah, still a bit too much long grass still. So let's see if we can get rid of the last of it and then we'll get rid of the soil in a minute. Because now they're going to want some... Right, okay, so we're okay on the grass now, but they want some more rock. So maybe we just dot some rock around the edge. I'll just bring this down a little bit. This will be a lot easier once I add some actual stuff in. All right, let's play that a moment just so we can kind of get a live update on it. We've still got way too much soil. They can have some short grass, so maybe we put some short grass in because I don't really want it to be all dirt. Let's see if we can just pop some of this in. second yeah let's just oh there will be a second guys i just need to refresh my screen here There we go. The chat disappears for a second. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've still got a bit too much soil. So let's see if we can add a little bit more grass in. And we should be. All right. Now they're not happy with that. They've got fussy walls here. All right. So too much soil, but we've got plenty more rock we can have. So let's see if we can just put some more rock in at the back here. Because eventually I'll do some kind of little waterfall or something. Too much soil. Mm. oh i'm still on soil i thought i was on rock that's why okay so let's just add some of this then at the back here for a minute this is not going to look great straight away bear with me right now we've got all their habitat in the green they're going to be happy with this so now we can focus on actually making it look nice for them so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna make i'm gonna turn this into a makeshift den i'm gonna put some rocks here I don't know if I saved any blueprints for it. I might have done. But what I'm doing is I'll put some rocks in that there. And we'll also maybe turn this part into a cave later. But for now, let's just try and give them something pretty. So I'm going to raise the terrain a bit up the back here, I think. Oh, I'll tell you what I need to do first. Is this barrier high enough for them? Let me just check if our animals can escape. 
Uh, habitat. Right, they can't get out. If your animals could get out, it would have red arrows over the fences. But this blue area means that they can, you know, use all of the space that's available. There's nothing blocking them from using it. And because the barriers are greyed out, they can't escape. So that's great. And just make sure underneath there they can't escape. Yep, perfect. All right, that's what I needed to know. So now let me go into the terrain. We just need, I'm not going to go too crazy with this and trying to make it perfect because I don't want to spend the whole stream in build mode, but we're just going to kind of start to shape it out a little bit. Let me just bring up this intensity a bit. <clears throat> Let's just try and get an idea because I want to turn this back part into some kind of mountain after. But we also need to make sure that they can't escape. But I'm just going to raise it up right here because we're going to have some lovely trees and that in a moment. Our poor animal is going to get boxed in a second because I've brought the terrain over it. But that's okay. We'll sort that out in a minute. Now, is this affecting their space? Yeah, because of the grass. It's undone my terraforming, but that's okay. Right, and then what I want to do is I'm going to kind of flatten this out. I wish it didn't undo the terrain painting that I've just tried to get right for them. I'm going to get some water in here in a minute. So I want to... Um, how could we do... We could do like a nice little bit here that can have some water in it. Because they, like, they do like to swim. And it's super cute to see them swim. So if I just kind of flatten this out, because we could do a nice waterfall area. How deep is that? That should be okay, but let's bring it up a little bit. It's not too steep. And then I'll have like a nice little bank here as well. This will look a lot better in a minute, don't worry, once we get some plants and stuff in. But I'm just kind of getting a feel for what we can do with the space. Um, let me just check how deep that... Yeah, that should be okay for the wolves. I believe so. We're still all right with space, so we've not taken up too much of their space. But I do need to make sure they're not going to be able to escape in a minute. So I need to just... But I want them... I would like them to, to be able to get up here, to be honest. So maybe we smooth that down a little bit. So they can actually use it because I think we're far enough from the barrier they can't actually escape. They shouldn't be able to anyway for the minute. Let's kind of flatten this out. Just trying to make it look a little bit better than just some flat terrain to start with. And then I'll check if they can traverse it in a moment. All right. Let's, where's a smooth, this one. I'm going to smooth this down a little bit. And I need to find the waterfall effects after. But for now, I just kind of want to get an idea for the shape that we can go for. Let's get some trees in. And then I need to fix this long grass, don't I? Because it's put it all back, unfortunately. So let's go in and just pop some rock in here. As this is going to be, you know, kind of a mountain, I guess. It's really annoying that after all that, it puts it all back the moment you start messing with the, the terrain. So I'm going to have to kind of remove all of it. It will have short grass though, so maybe we can just override it with that. Has it gone through all of this? I think so. All right. Okay, so let's get a bit more soil on here. And then we'll get some plants in once I get rid of the long... Where is the long grass that it thinks it's got? Because I don't see any long grass, I only see the short grass at the minute. Let me just smooth this bit out because it's a bit boxy. Alright. Let's go for the rock. Hopefully we can... So it still thinks we've got too much long grass, but I don't see any. This is all short grass. Oh, there's a little bit there. That's long grass. Where else are you seeing this long grass? I think the game's lying to me. 
make sure actually sometimes it's under here still all right it wants all right okay well we've got plenty of soil to play with so let's use a little bit of soil and kind of just go around the edges here this is the part that takes the time unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> is getting like the habitat set up this is the part that's really fun but doing it live it is very time consuming because you want to get it looking nice but you also don't want to spend you know so much time that you're doing it but we want it to look good all right so let's just kind of shape this out a little bit still a tiny bit more grass that they're not happy with so ah i see a bit here where else? Where else is this long grass you're telling me? I don't see any. I don't see any. Alright, well we've got a little bit more rock we can play with. So let me just kind of go over it all at the minute and then I can add some grass and stuff in after once I know they're not going to moan at me for it. Let's just cover all of this. It can't guys can you see any long grass because i can't see any long grass but apparently there's still too much in here what if we just cover the whole thing in rock <laughs> is it still going to tell me it's too much Th that's that long grass is not even moving do i need to maybe play it and see if it updates no right i'm literally covering Oh, there we go. We must have got it somewhere. Okay, so now let me go back to the short grass. This is the part that drives me crazy because you can't even see it, but apparently they can. But at least now we can put some grass back in. All right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Let's put some down here so it's a bit bit barren here no that was too much okay all right fine we're happy with that i'm not messing with it anymore because it's gonna drive me crazy right let's get some trees in here for a minute so it at least looks nice so they can have the tiger biome can't they and tempera and tundra so let's go into trees and if we filter this by biome we can filter it by tiger tempera tempera and tundra but i kind of like the tiger trees there's some really nice like redwoods and things um the spruces are nice wow that one's huge <laughs> Oh, what's the one called? Um, is it larch or something? Yes, these are really pretty. I like these. So we could get a mixture of these and then let's put one there. Maybe one on this side. I need to make this central bit a bit higher later, but I really want a waterfall coming down into the water. And then let's get the redwoods if they're not too big these are the seed wow the cedar trees are huge that's way too big let me turn these off again because i don't want to see those while i'm searching we need something the himalayan pines are nice those are quite nice trees they might look nice actually to frame this sort of area maybe because they're quite tall exactly that's why i love this sort. and the thing is with timber wolves is they like it a little bit cold so if we add some callers in we can get it so that the terrain goes a bit snowy and it'll look really pretty it really will so yeah i love doing things like that but this is the this is the annoying part unfortunately kind of getting this stuff set up for them Let's see if we've got anything that's a bit thicker tree-wise, though. Yellow cedar, yellow cedar. All right, we've only got tiger, so let's add in the tempera and the tundra and see if we can find some more options here. 
Let me just narrow this to just tree for a minute as well, because I'm not worried about plants just yet. All right. Oh, that's way too big. That's way too big. We've got more sugar maples. Scott's pine. That's a nice one, actually. That's quite a nice tree. But I want something about thicker, a bit bushier, really. To give it that, you know, forest vibe that wolves would like. Korean pine. These are all so huge. Uh, no, that's festive spruce. We don't want that. I mean, this one's a little bit better, I guess. But it's a bit too similar to what we've got. Maybe put these ones at the back. Just to kind of give the back a bit of depth. Again, we'll be able to do a lot more once we've got more money. But for now, we need to get it looking. At least something for now. All right, we'll put some more in the middle. So we got a kind of... I mean, we could use some of these, I guess. Because these are all temperate. Because we're in the temperate biome. But no, I don't really, I don't really like those ones, to be honest. Let's go back into nature. So where are like the... Well, we looked at the redwoods, didn't we? But I think they were too big. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, this, oh, I love these cedars, but they're just way too big. All right, that's no good. What are we going to do here? We need some. I need something that's going to look right. Hmm, this part's hard. I can't really see anything that's going to look good. I do love these larch trees, so I'm definitely going to use a few more of these. Maybe we'll get some of the taller ones. Actually, that might block the view a bit too much. Let me just see if I can get maybe one on the corners. Kind of block the keeper hut. Don't let me forget to put a keeper hut down either. Because <laughs> I do need to do that. Um... No, I don't like that, to be honest. It's a bit too much. All right. We just need some more to go sort of here. Maybe we... Ah, oh, these are nice. The Douglas fir. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Okay. Let's get some of these in. Let me get one of these in the back here. About there. Just to give that a bit more depth. Because I want it to kind of have a bit of... Yeah, like something like this. Don't want to go too crazy, but I want to make sure we've actually got some trees going on here. Where was that taller one? Because that will probably look really nice here. Maybe that one. I'm going to pop them there. And then have a look sort of from the guest perspective. I go down a little bit. So if we're looking over here. That's quite a nice view, actually. And we've got these trees kind of framing it at the edge. Yeah, I mean, that looks all right for now. It's not great, but <laughs> it definitely needs some work. But let me just see if the wolves are, are happy with the coverage. So let me just play this a moment. So they're happy with the hard shelter. Uh, we've used too much of their land requirement, though. We need to add a little bit more navigational land. So... They can use the water and everything, which is great. This bit we need to smooth out, maybe. See, anything that goes white is means the animal can't use it. Ah, and it's also saying they can escape here, so I can show you that. That comes up if they can escape, and it's probably because this bit's too close. Yeah, so I'll, I'll adjust that in just a moment. Okay, so let's see. All right, all the trees in that are fine. Yep. Yeah. It seems like they're okay with that. They're okay with the plants. So we've got plenty of space to add more. They're quite happy with all of that. They can have quite a bit. So the main thing is we're probably going to have to cut this water down a little bit. Oh, he's already swimming. Stop it. Do it again, please. Oh, look look at her up there. I don't know which one's which, but how cute do they look? Stop it. Oh... I could just spend the whole game just watching these animals because they are just gorgeous. Look at them. And they, they will reproduce and everything like that. Oh, and the babies are super cute. All right, I'm going to get distracted. Let, <laughs> let's quickly sort this out before they get unhappy. 
So what's the matter with their social? Oh, they want more. Too few adults. Yeah, I know, because they're a pack animal. They need more. But I'm trying to get their actual... Oh, my God, we've got guests and everything already, guys. Exactly. Majestic floof. But these are all our guests. They're already coming in. I wasn't even paying attention when I had it unpaused. And if we click on the guests, we can see what they think of. Well, apparently one of our wars has escaped. Where? Where has our wolf escaped? No, it hasn't. Are you lying to me? Why does it think they're escaped? They're only here. Are they about to escape, maybe? Because they're both right inside the barrier. They have not escaped. But maybe they're possibly thinking about it. <laughs> All right. Worry about that in just a minute. But you can click on the guests and see what they think. Now, if you get something like this where they say the zoo ticket price is great, that means you can up your prices because they're obviously very happy with the prices so you can charge a little bit more. If they said it's fair, then you don't want to put it up anymore because they won't be very happy. You want to aim for like fair or good, really. Now, we haven't got the education set up, so let's do that. Now the animals are in there, we can click on here that we want them to educate about the timber wolf so that guests will get education. And if I click on the speaker, which is hidden behind here, I can also do the same. And let's just up the range a bit as well. I need to put some on the top level after, but the speaker will at least cover quite a big bit, I reckon. Let's do this one as well. I need to get a bit closer. But yep, animals can escape and cause chaos. <laughs> All right, Timberwolf, yeah, let's make sure they don't overlap. You don't want your educational speakers to overlap, but you want them to cover as much area as possible. The more, the better, because then you don't need to use as many. So what I am going to do is grab another one of these, but I'm going to take the speaker off it because otherwise it will overlap. And the more the guests are educated and things, the more they'll donate into these donation bins, which will ultimately make you more money, of course. Let's put one about here. And we'll put another one this side. Let's turn angle snap off a minute. And get it a bit more precise. Uh, about there should be fine. But I do need to take the speakers off this one. Oh, I already did. Okay, that's fine. Let's just straighten that up a little bit. Okay, so now our guests will receive education. And if we click on these bins, you can see what they've donated and if they have donated so far. But apparently we've got an issue with them escaping, which is why our guests are now running for their lives. But the wolves have not escaped. The wolves are in here. So why does it think they've escaped? Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> All right. So we can click on the animal. Emergency capture. It's going to cost us a thousand bucks. But now we know why they can, because they can hop off from the hill and escape. So we need to sort that out right away. But our vet will come and collect the animal and bring it back to safety. <laughs> Let me pause that just a second and sort this out, though. So we need to... We're going to need to smooth that down a bit, I think. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's... Oh, God, it's going to mess with my terrain again. I hate it when it does this. Right. I'm going to need to move this tree first because it's not going to let me do too much around the tree, I don't think. But let's see if I can. <laughs> that is hilarious. I think if I just bring it in a little bit, that should be enough to stop them. Let me smooth that out. And I'll add the rock back in before it starts yelling at me that we've got too much long grass again. <laughs> I can't get over that. It just hopped over it like it was nothing. All right, let's, um, before I put the tree back, let me just play it and make sure. Where's um Jacob? Where's the other wolf? He hasn't left us, has he already? Oh, he's under there. Let me just click on him a minute so I can just see if we fix that. Uh, habitat. All right, there's no escape routes now. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so we've solved that problem. Brilliant. So let me move the tree back. We'll get some more decorations and plants and that in later. Or I might end up doing it off camera if you guys don't want to watch too much of the decorating side of things. We can at least play for a little bit. But our guests went running for their lives. So, yeah, you have to be careful with that because you will lose money. And if you're playing on, on the hard version, then you can actually have refunds requested and things like that. This one's already trying to escape again, aren't you? Are you trying to escape again? 
Yeah, you're looking at what I've just changed, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful, though. I just realised we haven't got any food or anything in for them yet, so we need to make sure we do that before they start complaining. So let's do that and get our keeper hut. So pause two seconds. Let's go in. Now we've fixed the escape route. We can go in and get our keeper hut. I'm going to put it right next to here. Um, Let's go to all. Turn the blueprints off for a minute. Star facilities. Let's turn that off. I didn't already get one over here, did I? Let me just double check. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pop it over here because the closer the keeper hut to the habitat, the easier it is for them to, you know, get to the animals, top up their food and enrichment and things like that. So maybe we put it right in the corner here. Uh, is that about straight? Oh, that path is weird. All right, what if we did it this side? Will that be better? You know what? I can live with that. It will do there for now. Right, so we've got to keep a hut. We need to get our animal enrichment stuff in now. This is where I can show you about the research quickly as well. So now that we've actually got animals in the zoo, if we click up here, not up here, sorry. If we click on zoo and we can go down to vet research and mechanic research. Now, because we've actually got a vet, we can drag them over to the timber wolf and they'll begin researching the timber wolf. And what they'll do is they'll unlock new information about the timber wolves. They'll, you know, up their breeding stats and things. They'll unlock enrichment items, higher quality food to make them happier. Lots of good stuff. So you want to be researching the animals. And then you can also research different diseases so that if anything does get into your zoo, you can, you know, deal with it quickly. But for now, we're going to start researching the timber wolf and we're going to get our mechanic researching all these different themes and more facilities, barriers, so much good stuff. Um, I don't really know where to start, to be honest. I think maybe we start with barriers because you can get the one way glass and, and things like that might be easiest. But then the facilities might be. Hmm. Let's just get them started with barriers. And when they're not doing anything else, they'll be researching that. But what we do know about the timber wolves, if we go into habitat and we search timber wolf, will it? Let's turn the blueprints off so we can get their bedding in. I'm going to actually make this into a really nice cave as well because I think that'll be a lot of fun. But if we put their bed in under here, then they should sleep close to this glass. So you'll get a really nice view of them. Actually, I might put a little bit more. Give them a really nice big bear. We're going to need to get some more timber wolves in here because it's not nearly enough for a pack. We might need some heaters and coolers. We're going to need a water treatment facility as well, aren't we? Because we've got water. So that's something I need to sort out as well. But for now... We haven't got any toys or enrichment unlocked for them yet. That's what we need to research them for. So we're not going to be able to provide them any enrichment just yet. But at least we've got their bedding in. And they've got water already. So they should be okay with the basics for now. And then we can make this look prettier later. But what I will do actually first. Is just kind of make this water look a little bit nicer. So you can now change the colour of it. So if I click on this. And they've got a lot of pre-settings like Dirty Water, Everglade, Amazon, or you can do custom colours. I want something that looks pretty, like, like this, but not as... We'll turn the transparency down. So you get a nice tropical, you know, Canadian, North American vibe, but not to the point where it don't look real. So let's go down a little bit, maybe to about here. That should be about right. But I definitely need some more trees and plants and stuff, and we're going to need some benches for our guests which we probably should add in before they start complaining. Let's get some benches. Um, let's go to all. We'll just pop a couple down just so they've got some places to sit. We put maybe two up here. We'll put a couple down here for now. Um, where else can we go? Maybe over here. Maybe we just put one there, one there. All right, that should be okay, but we're going to probably need some more of these as well. 
So let's grab another bin. We'll put one here, one here. Maybe one near here. Because they will litter all the time. It's really bad. Let's see. So let's play. let it play for a bit now that everything's okay. I wonder why this is not... Okay, it's gone. So the zoo ticket price is great. So we will up our zoo price. And you can do it by clicking on the barriers over here. And just adding it up here. I think five and four. We'll see how they feel about that. Make sure it did actually stick. Because sometimes it doesn't always stick. Yeah, five and four. But you can also open your zoo tab here and change it from the dashboard. This will tell you what your inspections have been, you know, what guests are liking, what's the most popular visitor. And you can also get an overview of crime, everything. So we can see some of our... Did we not put a, f a drink shop in? So, so far, we're getting pretty good, pretty good feedback, but they're moaning that we don't have a drink shop. Do we only got food? Yeah, we've got chief beef. All right, so we can stick a drink shop in then. That hopefully will make them happy. So, guest facilities. Let's get a drink stall. We've only got gold piece soda. So, maybe we can pop that right next door. For now. And then I'll move the bench and that across. Let's do that. And I'll move that one across over here. Alright, hopefully... That will make them happier for now. Let's go see what everyone's thinking of our wolves. Ah, uh, they've got a really good view of them. Anyone think about think anything good about the wolves? The view of the timber wolf from here is quite good. You can really tell they put a medium thought into the planning. Hey, we're just starting. We haven't had the time to go all out and make it look amazing just yet. We just want to make sure they're happy. That's the main thing. Right, they're still not happy with the social though. They need more wolves. So let's just have a quick check in the Zoopedia and have a look at what it says about the timber wolves. So, timber wolves. They want 2 to 12, up to 12 males, up to 12 females. They will have an alpha female and an alpha male. They're monogamous, so they'll basically mate for life. And age of sexual maturity is four years old, so they can have babies from them. Wolves are very social animals that live in family packs. An average pack contains one alpha male, one alpha female. They're young adult offspring and a litter of pups. Wolf packs are closely bonded and wolves get distressed if their pack is separated or if a pack member dies. I love all the information the Zoopedia gives you on these animals. It tells you everything about their conservation status, if they're threatened, anything like that. It tells you everything you need to know about the species. And the more research you do, the more stuff you'll unlock. So it looks like we haven't unlocked anything just yet. We're still researching them, but there's a lot that we can hopefully unlock soon. But let's go to the animal trading real quick and see if we can get them some friends and then we'll worry about making the habitat look even better. I didn't want to spend too long in the pause mode, you know. You have to let me know, guys, what you're thinking so far. But let's search for a timber wolf and see if we can get a few more in here for them. Reset or filters. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I need to go to the animal market. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's check on our red pandas. Because we've still got a female red panda waiting for a mate. Um. Yes, yes, yes. All right, this one's slightly better. 3.6, take it. Okay, perfect. So we can actually build a second habitat soon for a red panda. I won't worry about that just yet. That means we've now got a female and a male ready, and they're very similar in age as well. So, and they've got very high appeal, so they will bring a lot of guests to our zoo, and we'll be able to up the prices even more. But what we really need is to get some more wolves for our pack. So let's have a look at the timber wolves, and it's really cool because we'll be able to do walk-in habitats and everything like that later. We'll have um, exhibits with snakes and things. So yeah, it'd be really cool. But let's see. So we want to kind of get, I think we want to focus on cash only. Let me just go to the filters. We'll do cash only listings because we're not got the conservation credits now. So all we've got for cash are these three females and one more male. What I might do, these are all very similar in age. I might just get more females and keep one male. And then it means that the females will, will have a, a brief fight for alpha status. But let's see what their stats are like. 
So if we was to compare mates with Jacob, it tells you roughly the, um, the genetics in this game is crazy. If we thought the flowers Animal Crossing were crazy, <laughs> the genetics in this is amazing. So if you're looking at specific animals, you can check what the stats might be like when you when they mate. So if a veta looks quite good, it looks like we would have quite a good fertility, quite good um potential with their stats actually and we might have a chance at different colorings as well that's another thing you can get different colors in their coats and you can get albino animals and things like that as well so that one looks okay let's go to oh one of them's already gone there was three wasn't there how does this one all right i think so we'll go both females for now they're not too bad let's just get them because i don't want to lose any more Let's get these two, because they're both around with five. Let's go straight to our animal trading, and we're going to send them straight to the zoo. And then hopefully, we'll at least have a small pack going, and we can get, we'll keep an eye on the market and maybe get some more. But at least we've got some to get us started. So what are the guests thinking now? Let's see. Lots of room to walk about here. The ticket price is fair, so they're happy. Ticket price is fair. I've seen bigger and better zoos. Yeah, I know, but we can't really do much about that just yet. <laughs> All right, the zoo could do with expanding. Yeah, are we making any money? Yes, look at that, 818. We are in the green. Our money's going up. We can see here how well we're doing expenditure-wise. This is why I didn't want to go too crazy with the spending and the decorating right off the bat until I made sure that we were actually making a profit. Um... We're a little bit under at the moment, but I'm, we're still in the green. So I think it's just that we've just had a feed in for the animals. But that one's made us nearly a thousand. What about this one? 674. What about down here? Nothing yet. But I suppose the wolves haven't really been under there yet, have they? Oh, our other, our other wolves are here. So guys, if you have any ideas for names, I would love to you know get you all involved. So if you've got ideas to name the animals... If you've got some, you know, names for the shops, for our staff, anything like that, let me know. I would love the suggestions. I'll, I've obviously kept the names that they've come with so far, but we can change them at any time. Oh, how beautiful though, are they? Seriously, are they all the same color? That's what I want to check. So Avetia, she's got gray brown fur with dark mottling. What about our others? Let's see if we can find them. You've got slightly similar coat, I think. Grey brown fur, yeah, same. You've got the same. Have we got what? Are, where's um the other two? Ah, Jacob. Grey brown fur, dark mottling. So the only one is Nakedra. She's the only one that's got different. Oh, look at her sleeping. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Um, she's the only one. Oh, come on, I can't, guys. If you're an animal lover, you'll be obsessed with this game. I need to get a waterfall over here because that will look so pretty and a lot more trees and plants in. But, oh, but she's the only one that's got a different coat colour at the moment. So she's got the reddish-brown coat. But similar, very similar. Right, so how are we doing? We've got an inspector coming in six months. We've got a guest here. We can't wave to you, though, no? <gasps> Oh, we just missed you swimming. Oh, stop it. <laughs> but don't, doesn't, don't they look good? Seriously, like I, I'm still obsessed with how amazing these animals look. Oh. Oh, I need to get this decorated a bit more for them. But yeah, I'm going to get distracted so easily. All right, so everything's looking good here. I think we have no security guards. Are we having crime issues at the moment? I don't think so, are we? Uh, where are we? Crime. No, I'm not worried about a security guard just yet. Don't try and get me to spend more money. <laughs> we'll worry about that when we need to, but not just yet. All right, so we haven't got any alerts to worry about. Everything's doing pretty good. We've got about 170 guests. We are doing okay with money. We're at 14,000 and we've already got our red panda. So we will be able to set up a new habitat soon. And I'm thinking we'll probably either go next to this one or we go the other side. But we do want to beautify this one a bit. So I will probably do that very soon. But yeah. Oh, these wolves. 
hopefully we'll get some baby wolves in soon and babies bring in a lot of guests everyone loves to see new baby animals oh they're coming down here now to see them now where is the timber wolf that tim i know the timber wolves are bored at the minute we're working on the enrichment they shouldn't we should actually have some unlock soon um let me just check how our vets are doing on that yeah so hopefully soon we'll unlock a new piece of enrichment because we can't give them anything to play with or any fun food enrichment until oh lovely that's just peak peak view in there <laughs> but yeah we can't once we've done the research on them we'll unlock you know new enrichment and toys and fun things but i need to make this habitat look better that's the main thing so i'm going to work on that in a bit but guys i think we're going to take a quick short break i really need to get a drink my throat is going dry so if we take maybe a five minute break, um, grab a drink and everything and then come back and we'll continue on. But do let me know what you're thinking so far, if you're enjoying it. And I will see you in just a moment. I'm going to pause the game, but I will be right back.
All right, we are back. Sorry about that weird transition here. I hadn't added the be right back on here just yet. <laughs> so we'll get rid of that right now. Now, what we're going to need to do, we do need to make this habitat look a little bit better. I mean, it's looking all right to start with, but we do need to make it look a bit nicer. And then we can work on the red pandas um, once we've got this one sorted out. But I'm hoping we can unlock some enrichment very soon for them. But what I'm thinking is I want to get this turned into maybe a rock feature so they can climb up here. And then when we do get some enrichment, the guests will get a really good view. And we can have a waterfall coming down. So if I go into some rocks, let's see. Um, we want nature. Let's go into some rocks. And I'm just going to go into tiger because I like the tiger rocks. Are we going to have maybe have to bring that out a little bit, I think, but... Let's see, that's huge. That might work actually. If I just. I'm going to build it kind of into the rock face. But ah, the thing is, I want them to be able to come out. So we want kind of like a platform where the wolves might be able to, well, to kind of make it so they can walk out onto this platform and then have a waterfall coming from it, maybe. That might work. Um, Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. Let's just give it a go and see how we go. Um, how am I going to make it so they can get over here? Mind you, we saw them running over here, so they obviously can get over here. But I'll check that in a moment. Let's kind of flatten it out a little bit. Let's make that a bit smaller. Not that small. Why is that so huge? I'm going to go to two. Let's see. Hmm. I can just kind of flatten it out a little bit and hopefully they can traverse that I believe they'll be able to yeah let's just smooth it though so it looks a bit more natural and go back into the terrain painting and we'll just kind of put some more soil in there they're probably going to want rock but that's fine I'm so out of practice with this. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's try and make this look a bit better. So we've got a bit more going on for them before I unpause. Um, right. Let's see what we can do rock-wise. Maybe bury that in, the, in there a little bit. Let's put the random rotation on as well because that will help make it look a bit natural. A bit more natural. Yeah. Um, I don't know how, might need to rotate this one a bit. I don't know if they'll be able to, actually, let's try and get something a bit flatter so they've got a better surface to work with. Not that. We need to make sure the wolves can actually, actually this might work. If I kind of bury that and maybe tilt it a little bit, that might actually work better to be honest. And it blends in a bit better. Perfect. Let's move one over this side. Let's see if we can flip that a little bit. That's not quite right just yet. Maybe like that a little bit. I want to make sure they've got kind of an even surface. Let's see if we can turn it round so it looks a bit... Hmm. Yeah, that's okay for now. Um, let's get some more of the bigger rocks and kind of scale this down a little bit. What you'll have to let me know, guys, would you prefer that I did speed builds for some of the habitats if they're going to take a while? Or do you like to see it live? So do let me know, because what we can do is focus more on the gameplay for a little bit. Um, or I can move on to building the red panda habitat. But if you'd rather see that done in a pre-recorded video, I can absolutely do that as well. Whatever you think you'd enjoy more. Let's get a few of these rocks around this side of the river as well just to make it look a bit more natural. Maybe about, actually let's get, let me get a different rock. I want something that's semi-flat. Mm. 
let's maybe go like this just to add a bit more texture into the ground so it's not so jarring and i'm gonna add a few more trees and we'll get some plants and that going on but just want to get a little bit of texture going on here so it's not so plain Yeah, I'm going to make it look more like a cave in just a moment. Don't you worry. It's going to look really cool. But I'm, I want to do like a little water feature here. So I'm just kind of trying to make this look a bit more natural first. And then I'm going to add the water. We need to add the water effects in live mode because it won't show up when we're paused. But I just kind of want to get the rocks looking okay first and make sure the walls can traverse it before I mess with the water effects. So let's... That should be all right, about there. I need a bit more on this side, I think. Just so you know, it's got it's not just one big hill, basically. Um, I wonder if, if I grab this, let's kind of bury this into this one a little bit as well. Might look better if I turn it around. Yeah, something like that. Maybe. We'll just bury it into the cliff a bit more though. Just so it's got a little bit more texture and it's not and they can obviously get up here, I think, as well. So that will give us even more views. Let's move it out here. Let's try and get it so it looks kind of like one big rock coming out of here, hopefully. Maybe something like that. And then I might make this one a bit bigger as well so that they can actually come out. Let's see, can we maybe turn it so it's not so bulky? Because then I'm, what I'm thinking is they can come out on here. There'll be some kind of enrichment. If I move the, oh, move the camera up, then it gives the guests a really nice view of, what, of them on the rocks. So that could be quite nice. Does that look like it would be natural though or is that a bit too far <laughs> i don't know let's bring it in a little bit but i think that will do something like that for now let's grab a few more of these trees and just make this look a little bit more lush if we can because you know we are sort of dealing with wolves here we want it to look as nice as possible let's just get a few more here but we don't want to obscure the guest view so let's get some more of those lovely golden ones the larches maybe put one here and obviously it hides the barrier a bit as well we don't want too much barrier going on um maybe about there oh, that's a bit much that side let's go this one here maybe about here yeah um we put another one just near there it kind of obscures the keeper's hut a little bit this one's peeking through. So let me just move that back a little bit. So it's not overhanging a bit too much. A little bit's okay peeking through, but can we kind of just turn it? Yeah, that'll be all right. <clears throat> just give us a bit more of a dense view. That looks a lot better already. How are they with the temperature? That's what I need to know. Um, I think... Where are we with the temperature? I don't see... No. I'm sure there was something here with the temperature. I might be missing it completely. 41%. Okay. Where's the... Um... Hmm. Insufficient area or crowding issues. Why? Have we not got enough space? Uh, okay because i added more all right so i might need to make their water area a little bit smaller we can do that let's see um if i take that out a minute let me grab the terrain tool <clears throat> let's see if we can just make this a little bit smaller and see if that gives them a bit more land let me just smooth that out a little bit actually i don't want it to be too steep i want them to be able to actually get in there Hi 
Hi, Christian. That's all right. Let's just go back around this. Get rid of that long grass because we know they don't like it. I wish it kept, you know, whatever your last setting was. There must be something I'm missing. I'm pretty sure there's a way to change that, but let me just do that. And then let's pop that back in and see if that helps. So it's still got quite a bit. Let's play that a moment. We're still a little bit under what we need. Oh, but they can get up there. No problem. Look at that. Oh. That went night time very quickly. But at least we know they can get up there. They can get up there no problem. Okay, perfect. So, the issue I've got... Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what I hit there with the camera. The issue I've got... Oh, look, they're using it. I can't wait to get some stuff up here. Oh, they can get all the way up there as well. That's brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I love it. All right, so we need to get some water in. But what I'm thinking is I need to sort this land situation out. They need a bit more space. So what I might do is just drag the barrier back a bit for now. Because eventually they're going to have a much bigger habitat for sure. So let me go into... Let's pause this a second. Let me just go into the barriers. What I'm going to do just to save some time. Because I don't want to make the space they've got any smaller. Is I'm just going to make... Hang on. Get rid of that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let's give them another maybe seven meters or so. What is going on here? Stop it. All right, if we come back about this much, that should be enough and I can make it a bit more dense after. But that will at least give them a little bit more space, I think. Let's try that. If I hook that on there. Bring that in a little bit. All right, and then let's get rid of this one. We'll duplicate some of these trees. Come out of that. We just pop a couple more trees back here, just so they've got... It looks a bit more lush. But that should give them a place to hide as well. Yeah, so that's looking all right, isn't it? We've got a nice view right there. Let's see if that helps with the situation. Um... Where's our wolves? I need one. So they've got quite a nice view even here. Yeah. All right, guys, are you happy with this space now? That's still not enough. Are you kidding? Wow. Okay. All right. So I need to make it a bit bigger, I think, even more so. Um, And I don't want them going behind here too much either because we're not going to see them otherwise. The guests want a good view. So how can we do this? Well, I will be putting all their toys and stuff at the front, so that should keep them here. What is that? Oh, did I not put... Oh, it's because I didn't put a feeding tray. So they've put their feeding stuff over there. All right, we need to change that. So let's get their feeding stuff. And I'll worry about the land in a minute. Um, right, we want a big food tray. What I'm thinking is we put the food tray up here for now because that will give the guests a really good view. Yeah? Maybe about... Hmm. Maybe about there. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want it right on the edge because I don't know if they have issues getting to it. So I might... Let's put it like here. Yeah. We haven't got any enrichment yet, I don't think. No. Okay, but let's see if I can call the keeper and see if they will top the food up and put it on the new tray that I obviously forgot to put down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are we at 524 already? That's amazing. We only hit 500 yesterday. That's incredible. Guys, thank you so, so much. And if you are enjoying the stream, please do leave a like and a comment just so I know that you are actually enjoying it and you want to see more of this on the channel, whether it's streamed or pre-recorded or speed builds, things like that. I know it can be maybe a bit tedious to see it all in real time when the designing stuff takes a lot of time. But yeah. I do need to work on this stuff a little bit more though. So I'm going to try and get it. I don't want to move on to the red pandas just yet because I know we spent a lot of time building when we first started. 
but I'm waiting on you guys to let me know, you know, if you want to see that stuff in real time or if you'd rather I pre-recorded it, which I'm happy to do as well. Whatever you think will be most fun. All right, so how are our guests doing, first of all? They're still happy with the ticket prices. We're doing all right for donations. Wow, three and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. Oh my God. Not really much down here though. Well, this one's got 300, but this one's not doing so well. Maybe I'll move this one over a little bit. <laughs> all right. I really want to get, you know, an educator in here soon as well, but I don't want to do it just yet. Our money's doing pretty well, but we do have our red pandas, which... Ah, oh, here we go. That's better. Now you've got a proper feeding platform and the guests can see you eating. That looks absolutely disgusting. But at least they seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, at least they seem to be enjoying it. Oh, how good do they look, though? I mean, come on. It's so good. Uh, where are we? They just look... Oh. oh, I need to sort the terrain out back here. But at least they've got a space where they can go and hide if they want to. Because I guess, I mean, we've got quite a few wolves in here. So they've got quite a good view regardless. Right, let's see if I can get some water in here. I'm going to have to do this in live mode. Um, is it under construction? It's been a while since I've done this. No. Facilities, maybe? No? Hmm. Let me just leave that on a minute. Maybe it's habitat. I have to remember where this stuff is. No. I swear it was in construction. Oh, maybe because I'm not in all effects. That's why. All right. I wonder if, oh, I wonder if my blueprints are still in here from last year when I was playing this. I made this really cool um, panda habitat that's done like a Chinese temple. I wonder if I can show you if I... Oh, it probably won't let me select it if it's still in here because I haven't unlocked the research yet, but it should be in here somewhere. Um, right, water effects. That's bubbles. We don't want that. We want waterfall. Oh, thanks, Nene. It's nice to see you. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Have a good rest, but thank you for coming. All right, let's see. So waterfall top. I don't know if that might be a bit too much, that one. Yeah, I don't think that's the one we want, really. Probably want the medium one. Midsection. Let's see. Maybe something like that. Let's bring it. Maybe forward. I don't want it all the way at the edge because I don't want it to obscure them when they're swimming. But is that the murky one that I selected? Yeah, we don't want the murky one. We want the clear one. Midsection. Waterfall midsection 10. Midsection 5. This might be the one we want. Let's just bring this out a little bit. It's not very straight, though. How's that? That's looking a little bit better. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably OK. Let's put two in. Bring one forward a little bit. Out there might be all right. Hopefully. What do we think about that? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Christian. I'm glad you was able to stop by, even if you can't stay. Thank you for coming. It's lovely to have you here. I hope everyone's having a good night so far. Okay, how does that look, guys? What do we reckon? Do we reckon the waterfall there looks okay? Yeah? Hopefully the walls will enjoy it. 
Oh, they're all sleeping at the moment. Look at them. The guests are getting a really good view of the. Oh. Can you guys hear the game sound okay? Are you guys hearing the game sound okay? Just let me know because I don't know if it's too quiet for you or not. But look at how cute it is. But yeah, the guests are getting a really good view of them when they're sleeping here. <laughs> oh, bless them. I hope we get babies soon. All right. What we got here? Our vet research is complete. Brilliant. What did we unlock for our timber wolves? Anything good? Let's see. So we have unlocked a toy enrichment. And a fun fact. <laughs> Let's have a look in the Zoopedia. And this will show us what we've unlocked. Uh, okay, so we unlocked the sprinkler, which is a toy. Um, so that will give them some fun. That's brilliant. And the fun fact we unlocked. Let's see. It could be any of these. I don't know how many we had already. But wolves, with the exception of some breeds of domestic dog, are the largest canid species. Wolves howl as an alarm call to assemble the pack to locate each other if they get separated or to communicate across long distances. In North America, wolves have hybridized with domestic dogs, which has introduced black coloration into the wolf population. Wolves in cold countries can withstand temperatures of up to minus 40 degrees. When it is this cold, wolves lie close to the ground and use their towel as a muffle over their face. Oh, stop it. That's cute. And wolves are apex predators. They are only threatened by humans and tigers. So we need to get some sprinklers in here for our cute little timber wolves. Now that we have unlocked those. So it's right here. Hopefully they'll have some fun with this. I don't want the heat map on. So where can we put that to give the guests a good view? We could put one up here. And then maybe one down here. To, oh, I don't want the heat map on. Stop it. Maybe one right down here. Uh, about here. Oh, there's our keeper cleaning the habitat. Brilliant. So hopefully that will give them a little bit of fun. Let's see. How, how are we doing now? We still need to sort this. I mean, we're not too far off, to be fair. But when we have pups, that's going to be a problem. So we are going to need to make this bigger. I want to need to sort the long grass out again. But how are they overall? Their welfare is up at 69% now. Their enrichment's going up because we do have we do have some in toy enrichment. We only have the one item though at the moment, so we can't really provide much else for them just yet. But we will do soon. At least they're playing with it already, look. Oh, come on, play with it. I want to see you play with the sprinkler. That'll be so cool. No, you're not, not really that fast at the minute. Okay. <laughs> Maybe later. Are you going to play with it? Maybe. Thinking about it. They're all sniffing it, but none of them are too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, hi, thank you for coming in. It's so nice to see you. Let me just pop something in here. Everyone, if you're not already following Riley, make sure you go follow her. She is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You'll love her streams. Let me see if I can, if I've still got this set up. I believe I do. I believe I do. Yeah, there we go. I had that set up from last year. <laughs> We're just checking out Planet Zoo. We've just built our first habitat for the Timberwolves. Very basic, but getting us going. And I'm just seeing if our wolf is actually going to play with a sprinkler for the first time. Please do. No. Ah, oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this, Riley, because the animals are just amazing. We've got some red pandas that we're going to be building for soon, but I'm just kind of letting our money build up a little bit more first. I've treasured looking at the Timberwolf so much, I'm never going to clean my eyeballs. Well, that's a good review if I ever did hear it. Zuka do have expanding. Yeah, we know we're going to be working on it, but we need to start somewhere. All right, so I do need to just... Why is the keeper not sorting their food out? Come and, come and sort my food out for my timber wolves, please. 
The game's amazing, Riley. It really is. I've loved this game for a very long time, and I've played it for a few years, actually. I've got all the DLC, but I haven't played it for so long, so I've had to kind of re-familiarise myself, but I've been wanting to add it to the channel for a while, so I thought it was a good way to kind of stream it tonight, see if people enjoy it, if they want to see more. We've got some mechanic research done. The start on our barriers. So we've unlocked some new barriers. And I think our vet research is done as well. So we might have unlocked something else for, for our Timberwolves. Yeah, it is mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure if they've got... I mean, they've just brought it out on console, I think, for the PS and Xbox. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I just heard our wolf howl. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I'm using mouse and keyboard. Um, I don't know if it has a controller thing for it because there's a lot of keybinds for this game that you could use for shortcuts like Control D to duplicate, Control X, things like that. There's a lot of building heavy. You know, we've built what we've got here, we've built from scratch so far, but I didn't spend too much time with it so we could actually see some gameplay. Oh no, are they fighting for alpha status? Oh no, they shouldn't be. I think they're just playing. Let's check if any of our girl wolves are pregnant, actually, because... Oh, they're swimming! Oh my god, stop it. Right, are we expecting any babies yet? I haven't seen any announcements that we are. No, I don't think so. You went to a national park, Christian? That sounds amazing. Wow, I bet that was really fun. I just noticed our water's gone back to the default colour as well, so let me change that real quick. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Sorry, wolves. I'm sorry. I meant to select the water. All right, that's what I wanted to do. Let's go back to the color that we had, which was Azor, I believe. Yeah. Just make that down a little bit. That's better. Nice tropical looking water. Might be... Oh, I, I want to see these swim. Oh my God, look, come on. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I need some more plants in here, though. And I also need to turn this into a cave. So I'm going to be doing that in just a moment. I want to make this kind of like a wolf den looking kind of place. So I'm going to get some rocks and start doing that. And then I need to look at expanding their habitat. But we also need to work on our red pandas because we've got red pandas waiting as well. I know they're super adorable. I can't. I can't. I absolutely love this game. It's so wholesome. And if you're an animal lover, it's amazing you know what we probably could do guys actually before i do that one of them's howling but what we could do are we doing all right for money oh wow yeah is get some exhibits in some exhibit animals um to get us some extra cash a bit quicker because at the moment we can't really decorate our facilities just yet and they are very busy so we're going to need more soon it might be worth actually upping the prices soon yeah, they're all complaining about how busy they are. So we're going to need more facilities soon. But what I'm thinking is if we get a couple of exhibits in before we work on the red panda habitat, that will give our guests a little bit more to look at. Let's see what exhibit animals are available at the moment. We want something high appeal. So we've got Egyptian fruit bats are for the walking exhibit. So I won't worry about those just yet. Boa constrictors. Um, the good thing is, with exhibit animals, you don't need to build a habitat. They have their own exhibit kind of box. I'll show you. So this is another way to kind of... They don't obviously make as much money and things as the habitat animals, unless they're really high appeal and high stats and you, you know, get a lot of donations or a lot of money from selling them. But they breed like crazy. That's the thing. So if we go into... Where are we? Exhibit somewhere here. So the exhibit animals... Things like snakes, spiders, they come in these little boxes and it will, when you put the animal in, the sides will open up to glass. So you don't need to decorate them, but the guests can view them and things. So I'm thinking if we put a couple of these down, maybe even over here by the entrance. Yeah, we could put a couple down here and this will help us get some more money. So maybe we put like one here. Let me turn that around. There we go, one here. And maybe we get another one. Uh, has it got an education thing? No, just come with the first one. All right. Let me do that, but I'm going to get rid of that weird path in between. I don't want the path there. And I don't need the path there. So what that will do is we'll get, an, we'll get a couple of animals that we can start breeding for some extra cash. But let me duplicate the education box. 
and this one's got a speaker on it so let me move that or we'll pop that down here If I pop that there ready and then I can control X and duplicate that over so we've got one this side ready as well all right so now I need to sort out our opening time to so stop it going dark let me do that real quick more research completed what did we unlock we've unlocked something else new a whole carcass for the food lovely and we've also unlocked two new toys so a chew toy and an ice block so that will give them more enrichment thank you so much for coming christian i really appreciate it have a lovely evening thank you for coming but now i need to have a look so let's see what animals we've got available so a boa can oh we need to refresh it some of these have expired let's have a look We've got a diamond back. Oh, that's quite high appeal as well. Oh, it's a lot of money though. Yellow anacondas, common death eaters, Gila monster. These are quite reasonable. Maybe we get, hmm. Is that, we need to check first of all that we can get a breeding pair really. So let's check diamond back terrapin. I mean, 1500 to get two, but they're quite good appeal. So let's do it. Let's get Liam and... Oh, that was not really got a good longevity, but we'll take it. Let's just get them started. So let's take these two, get them into one of these. And then what happens is with the, these ones, obviously you don't have to do anything with it, but when you research them, you'll unlock things like facades and extra decorations for the exhibit. But you don't have to do as much with them as what you do, obviously, for like the walls and things. Let me just pause this a second because I think I'm missing. All right, why can't you reach it? Keeper can't reach... Oh, it's because it's not in the work zone yet. That's fine, I'll sort that in a minute. Not in the ideal humidity... That's fine. I've not done it yet. Give me a second. We will get there. So let's go to our staff, our work zones. Um, let's edit the work zone and we need to add this, this and this to it. Okay. And that will sort the problem of the keeper not being able to get there. But what we need to do is look at the terrapin, what they need. And also, I want to, don't want it to see through all of it. I want the facade on the back, I think. So we haven't unlocked any layouts yet, but we will do with the research. Now, they want the... Right, this needs to be 52%. So we need to go up a bit more on the humidity. Let's try 70 and see if that's enough. Temperature. Temperature's fine. It's just the humidity. So let's see how that goes. So they want 65 to 80. So if we make this about 75, that should be ideal for them. Perfect. All right, let me keep that paused a second. I just want to check what we can do with the decorations. We want to close some of these windows. Yeah, we'll close. Actually, not close it. Let's do 2D facade. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay, this one. We don't want that one. That one, okay. So this one, 2D facade as well, for now. And then the back one, 2D. We haven't got any 3D ones just yet. But that will at least look a little bit better for now. Yeah. And we can set up our education for the Terrapin. And this will hopefully give our guests a little bit more to look at until we get another habitat in here. Is this an ambient speaker? No, I want an educational speaker. I must have got the wrong one. Yeah, it's an ambient speaker. All right, let's go and get the educational ones. Uh, where would they? I think it's guest. I always forget where these are. Media devices. Here we go. So where's the regular speaker? No. 
There we go. Educational speaker. All right. So let's pop one here and let's put the other one there. Make sure they're not glitching out. Let's bring that up a little bit. Oh, that should be a bit better. Beautiful. Let's just change the colour though because it stands out like a sore thumb at the minute. No, hang on. That's the colour we want to change to like a black. That's better. Don't want it sticking out like a sore thumb. Hi, Sarita. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> well, hopefully you had a good shower. You haven't missed much. All I've done is I've just, instead of working on the next habitat just yet, I've added a nice waterfall area for our wolves. And they've now got uh, some toy enrichment, which we've actually got a few things for them, but we are still having the issue with the space that we need to work on. But we're going to turn this area in a moment into a proper wolf den, I think. A nice cave. We're going to surround it with rocks and we're going to carry it through to this side so it kind of looks like the guests are walking into the the den in a way and they just have that one-way glass between them but what i have done is added two exhibits now exhibits are different these are animals like snakes spiders and things like that you don't have to build anything for them you just buy these exhibit boxes and then they go in there and you can unlock enrichment and things like that so we're just doing this to kind of give our guests something more to look at let's see if we can just that should be enough for the speaker. So we've got we've just got diamondback terrapins in this one. I don't think we can see any right now. Let me see if I can drop the camera in there. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. I can't be <laughs> I can't see any just yet. But they should be coming in. Uh no, I don't see them at the moment. We'll have to keep an eye out and see if we can spot them later. But we've got diamondback terrapins in there. And then let me go back to standard mode for a minute. So now we just need something else because I want to give our guests something more to look at than just the wolves at the moment. They're all complaining there's not enough things in the zoo. Right. So did I not send these? Oh, I didn't. No. Oh, no. That's what we was looking at, wasn't it? Right. So let's see what else we got that's pretty good appeal. So, the common, we've got yellow anacondas, we've got common deaths, we've got quite a few snakes, gila monster. Gila monsters are pretty cheap. I wonder if it's worth maybe getting gila monster. And they're quite good appeal as well. Yeah, they're quite good appeal as well. What else we got though? Just have a look. A lot of snakes. Oh, these are cute. Thank you so much for stopping in, Riley. I really, really appreciate it. It was lovely seeing you. I hope your work goes really well. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of your day slash evening. Um, I'm thinking maybe Gila Monster. I don't know why. Let's go for one of those, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, we've only got one female available. That's fine. Three and a half years, we'll do that. And let's see if we can get a male. He's similar age. The fertility is not great, though. Uh, none of these are really any good stat-wise, to be honest. I think, I mean, it's just for now. I, let's, um, that one's seven. I'd rather go this one, even though the stats are lower for now. Maybe with some um, research, we can improve them. But yeah, I'd rather them be similar age. So let's get these two guys in. And we're going to set up the auto management thing with these, I think, if I can remember how to do that. But let's see what they need, first of all. So let's just change the name of these so it's easier to see. Gila Monster Exhibit. And then this was the Diamondback Terrapin. Diamondback Terrapin Exhibit. Okay, so a Gila monster. Now, what do they need temperature wise? So they want between 35 and 42. So if we make that maybe about 37 or 8, and they want this between 15 and 25%. 15 and 25. Let's go about 20 then. We'll go right down the middle. All right, let's see if that helps. 
Where's our Gila monsters? Can we see them just yet? They're really hard to see the exhibits. I don't see them yet. They might be hiding away somewhere. Oh, I see one. There's one. Oh, very cute. <laughs> All right. So let's get the education set up for these guys. And I'm going to need some donation boxes as well, actually. Um, so let's set the speaker up for it as well. Make sure we're getting as much education as we can. Let's make sure. Can we get this any bigger? No. So five. Let's make this go down a little bit then as well. So it's about equal. So we've just added some exhibit animals. We've just added the Gila monster, which you can see one of them here. So that's our little Gila monster. We've got two. So we've got a breeding pair. And I'm going to set up the management and the exhibit for that in a moment. And then we've got Diamondback Terrapins. But I don't know if we can see any at the minute. I'll try. Um. Oh, well, too far. Yeah, I can't see any at the moment. We'll have to keep an eye out for those ones. Yeah, I don't see them at the moment, but that's what we've added so far. Oh, I need some donation boxes, actually. Let me grab some of those. Otherwise, we're not going to make any money. So let's put one here. And let's put one here. Um, I'll put it this side, actually, in case we had a third one. Yeah, give me that money. <laughs> yes, yes. Bring me that money. All right. <laughs> let me add Let me add the backgrounds for this just so it looks a bit better. What window is that? That's the front, so we'll leave that one. And then all the rest we want. Um, the th oh, we've got 3D facades for this one. That's fine. So we'll add that one. This one, 3D as well. Yeah, that looks probably... What's the 2D look? Yeah, 3D. We want 3D. And the last one, 3D as well. Oh, no, we don't want that. We want to leave that open, don't we? So they can actually see it from that side. But yeah, we'll leave this one so that you can see it on three sides. That makes sense. And it might be worth me moving this education speaker. Oh, actually, no. That's actually covering it quite well, to be fair. That's fine. All right, so we've got a little bit more going on at the moment. That will bring us in some money, but we're going to need to set up the management for these because, trust me, they start breeding like crazy. Right, so they're very happy with everything so far. We just need to start unlocking enrichment for them. Um, right, I need to remember where the management... There we go. Manage population. This way, because otherwise what happens is you get overcrowding issues very, very quickly. Whereas this new option they added not long ago allows it to automatically send out the babies or the old ones that you choose straight to your animal trade center for you to either release to the wild or you know sell for cash so on so you don't get you know inbreeding and things like that because that can happen as well <laughs> so we want to do i want to do the lowest age first because we want really the babies to move on and keep our breeding pair until they're getting older so lowest age first um yeah store in the trade center unless we do the oldest no we'll, we'll leave it as it is lowest first population limit maximum males one yeah because i think we only want the one we don't want to risk any inbreeding so i'm gonna keep it at one and the same for this one lowest first all right that should be all we need to worry about for them let's do the same for our terrapins that way we don't have to panic every time Let's set this at lowest first as well. And we'll just keep the one breeding pair at a time. So like, any new babies we can, you know, release to the wild if we can or sell them if we can't. So what we got going on here? Zoo challenges. Oh, we've earned $500 from food profits. So that gave us some money. Thank you. We've got damaged barriers. So we need to get a mechanic over here ASAP. Okay, and the vet research is complete. So we should have unlocked some more for our Timberwolves as well. Fantastic. What have we unlocked? We're doing really well with the research on the Timberwolves. But we're going to need to move on to these two soon. But what have we unlocked? Let's see. We've got a lot. Oh, we've got the blood scent marker now as well for them. 
All right, let's get some more things in for our lovely wolves. Why they are fixing the barrier. Oh, who's howling? Oh, stop it. That's so cute. Oh, how are they doing? Enrichment. So they want some more food enrichment and toy enrichment. So let's go into the habitat. Oh, look at the rain. Oh, my God. Does that not look so cool? Hopefully our guests will go buy some umbrellas. <laughs> All right. So let me close out of this. Let's filter by species. And let's go down to the timber wolves. This will show us everything that they can have. They got a rubber duck. I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> that is cute. Is that is that actually yeah, it is, okay. So they've got a dog ball. They can play with a dog ball. That is adorable. Alright, let's pop the dog ball down here for them. So that's put their enrichment up a little bit. Let's get them. We've got to have a rubber duck. Let's put that in the water. Why not? And then let's also get them the chew toy. And I'll put... Um, yeah, let's get... Where are we going to put the chew toy? Maybe down here. So people can actually see them playing. Yeah, let's put one over there. How's that? So they want a bit more food enrichment. So the blunt scent marker, I believe that's food enrichment. Let's maybe get that up here. Give them another reason to come up here. Um, maybe put another one somewhere. So, food enrichment. Okay. Um, oh, the bamboo feeder. That's one we can put out for them. Let's put that maybe up here. Actually, no. I want them to the guests to get a better view. So let's put that down here somewhere. There we go. See, our wolves are looking good now. Yay! We've got all of our welfares in the green. We're doing well. Fantastic. So I can work on the habitat a bit more in a moment. But oh my god, look at this weather. It's like torrential downpour. But seriously, it looks so good in game though. It does look so good. At least they've got a really good shelter. But I want to make this look look a lot more like a wolf den. But just look at how pretty that is. Seriously. What a nice view. But yeah, I want to close this in with rocks to make it look more like a wolf den. Oh, good. Everyone's buying umbrellas. That'll make us some more money. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. So I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. How are our donations? 659. 240 so not good down there but they seem to love the views up here so i'm glad i made this raised viewing area because people seem to be really enjoying it beautiful and how are our exhibits doing let's have a look over here so we're making some good money from here already fantastic can we see our little terrapins yet i don't think so no i can't see them <laughs> What about the Gila monsters? Can we see them? Oh, I can see one in there. No, no, that's the rock. Oh, I don't know where they are then. They must be hiding as well. Okay. I really want to get these, these looking pretty. I hate the look of these ones without a shell, but I want to save a little bit of our money at the moment. And we need some shelter and things as well soon, I think. But I am probably going to be ending the stream real soon. We have been going for a good few hours now, actually. Quite a bit. Oh, seven. Wow, two and a half hours already. That that went really, really fast. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Let me know what you think. Have you really enjoyed this so far? Do you want to see more of this live streamed? Or would you prefer to see more of the gameplay and maybe do the, the habitat building in separate videos so that we don't spend too much time? I mean, I like it both ways, but I want it to be obviously fun for you guys. So that's what matters to me. <gasps> wait, wait, guys, we have a pup. We have a pup. When did she have a pup? <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh. When did we have pups? I didn't get in. Oh, my God, it is howling. Oh, did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? Is that not the cutest thing? So hang on a second. When did this happen? Who's your mum and dad? Let's see. 
Uh, where do I see it? Lifetime. I can't remember where I see the genetic. Where do I see your information about who... Oh, hang on. I'm moving all over the place here. Benjamin. I'm trying to find out. Oh, here we go. Stud book. Parents. So it's Jacob and Avetia. Oh, look. Is he not the cutest thing? Is it a he? I think it's a he. Stop it. Normally you get an announcement to say that they're pregnant or that you're expecting pups that you can watch them come. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, look at that with the waterfall in the background, though. Come on. Yeah, it, this game is super relaxing. It is, and it is super good. It, it can seem overwhelming with all the design stuff, and that stuff can take up a lot of time. But as I said, you know, the possibilities are limitless. You can literally build and create anything you want in this game. And, you know, there's so many animals you can get. If I just pause this for a second, because I'm really sure we didn't get any notification that I can see. No. We get that for some conservation credits. But normally you get a notification to say that, you know, that they're expecting offspring or that babies are about to be born. And we didn't, unfortunately. Is that we only got the one pup? Let me have a look. Yeah, just the one. And that was Jacob and Avetia's baby. And what's his stats looking like? Not bad at all. He's got quite high appeal as well oh you cutie I, I got completely distracted i have no idea what i was saying now <laughs> but yeah let me know if you are enjoying this so far and if you want to see it more as you know a let's play with maybe the habitat stuff as a speed build or if you actually want to see more of it streamed and you know do it in real time as we go along what I might actually do is look at adding an educator as soon as we get the second habitat in because we need to build something for the red pandas which we'll probably do either in the next stream or in the next video if I pre-record it and so we'll probably put them over this side I think yeah and then at least we can start to think about turning this central area to more of a nicer plaza. We can decorate our facilities, give them some fun names, hopefully, name our staff, all that good stuff, and just make it look a lot nicer. But I think we're off to a really good start for franchise mode, and we've got plenty of money to get us cracking for the next habitat as well. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. But what, um, let me see. I really want to make this into a wolf den, but I think it might take quite a bit of time doing the rocks because it's quite a big space. So I might do that off camera or save it for when we continue. But I think I am going to end the stream at the moment because I think we've been going about two and a half hours and it is getting late <laughs> for me. But let me know if you are enjoying it. If you, if you do want to see more of this to continue as a series, whether it's a Let's Play or whether we continue to stream it or a bit of both i'm going to rely totally on your feedback so do let me know in the comments and obviously like the stream if you are enjoying it it's your feedback that will let me know whether or not you'd like to see this continue as a series so thank you so much already for all of the support on the channel it really means the world it really does all of your encouragement and your incredible feedback it just it blows my mind every day. <laughs> it really does. And I can't honestly thank you enough. Yeah, Sarita, for me, it's 10 p.m. Just gone at the moment. So it's not too late at the moment. But I think we've been going about two and a half hours. And I'm wondering if it's actually worth continuing, you know, to build on this one right now or whether to save it for the next part, whether it's pre-recorded or we continue on the stream, because that stuff is going to take a little bit more time. <laughs> thank you so much sarita well i hope you all have a wonderful evening but i am gonna end this part right here i think we've had a really really good start and then i'm gonna rely on your feedback to let me know if you want to see this continue as a series on the channel or if you maybe just want to see it now and then i don't know i'm gonna leave it entirely up to you so do let me know what you think and if you are enjoying it do leave a like and a comment down below but until next time, I hope you all enjoy it the rest of your evening and I will see you all very soon. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.